How now, brown cow? Hi. <laughs> Hi. How now, brown cow? Hi, I'm here to tell you about how to not take things personally. <laughs> I'm so excited right now. I have my assistant with me, Nan Savage. We're here in LA shooting some videos for you guys. She came up with a great idea yesterday, a video topic, and right now we're gonna go over that topic. Okay, so one of the biggest things that people seem to ask you, you know, you with all your, your wisdom, is how to not take things personally, whether it be um, romantically or in the workplace or just in general. I think that people want to know from you, how, how do you not take things personally? How? Yeah, so this is a great question. Step one of learning how to not take things so personally is to understand that every reaction you have is you giving your power away or is you obtaining power. And so you don't need to give your power away in every single situation. The second that you get upset, the second that you fight somebody's opinion of you or of the world, you are giving your power away. You are then taking things personally when you don't have to do that. Now, when you we're not talking about emotionally because I don't think there's anything wrong with showing your emotions. So there's nothing wrong with showing your emotions. If you're taking things personally, meaning you're feeling as if you are being attacked or your morals or your beliefs are being attacked, then what you want to do is pull back and think about efficient and effective behaviors. I can have an emotion and it can still not work for me in a situation have the emotion and feel it. The second thing that people have to do in order to not take so things personally is reduce your ego. Calm this sense of self because everything is not about you. Everything that's happening like in the really world, fly. everything that's happening in the world is not about you. So reduce your ego, reduce that me, 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 me that we all have. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough? Okay. Why is it tough? Because I'm so cool. You are cool. It is about me. It is not. Everything is not about you. He's right, guys. That's not. For Let me ask you this. If I tell you a story right now, mm -hmm. and in this story, I say something that you did that I didn't like, that I didn't care for. That sounds like many stories. That, right, exactly. <laughs> so, do you take that personally? Do you let it roll? How do you deal with it? I'm telling a story. You're in the story, something that we did, and you're hearing it and it's not favorable. You're not really feeling what I'm saying. Like throwing blocks of cheese at people? Yeah, like if you threw a block of cheese at my head because <laughs> you're angry. Not that that actually happened, but it's, if it did. It's a made up example. Yeah, if this, if, if this did happen and you're a violent person, how does that make you feel? That my story. Um. Well, I think several years ago, if you would have said that or if I would have heard something about myself, I was like, damn, I did do that. I may, I may have been like, tried to rationalize it. Whereas mm -hmm. now I just, I'm like, yeah, I used to be like that and that's mm -hmm. horrible. And I, and I just, you learn from your past. You, you don't repeat history. You don't throw blocks of cheese at people's heads. Mm -hmm. So one of the, one of the things you have to do is really accept, accept that everyone is allowed to have their own stories and their opinions. If she was to tell, we've known each other for a long time. If she was to tell you a story about me that I didn't really like or was unfavorable to me, I have to reduce my ego. And I have to understand that she's allowed to have her own perspective of life. She's allowed to have her own perspective of how things occurred, of how I may have made her feel in a situation. I don't have to take it personally. I have to understand that at all times, everybody is allowed to have their opinion. Everybody's allowed to have their perspective. So a wise person, a person who seeks internal happiness is going to be accepting that she's allowed to have her story and that even though I don't have the best narrative in that story, it's still okay. I don't have to make it about me, me, me because it's her story. Even though I'm in it, it's her story. That leads me to something that is really powerful and that will help you in life no matter what. That is learning how to take things objectively versus subjectively. When you look at the world in a subjective way, which we all do, you look at everything with your own personal biases, your own personal feelings, your own personal thoughts. Now, this is not about right or wrong. Taking things subjectively, looking subjectively at the world, it makes you have tunnel vision on what you already think or believe. A lot of the times you're gonna talk about how you feel, what you think, 
and it makes you stay here, 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 which is your ego. A wise person chooses to be objective and they look at everything. So when a story happens, there's her story, there is my story, and then there's this version in the middle of what actually happened. <laughs> because we're both gonna tell the story from a subjective point of view, from our mindset, from how we felt. We're gonna tell the things about the story that we like, that we choose to remember. So always remember that. Everybody is guilty of doing this and it's not a bad thing. It's just something we want to be aware of. The more subjective you are, the more narrow-minded you are. The more objective you can be, the better you're going to be in all situations. When a fight happens, when there's a conflict, you're not going to take sides right away when you're objective because you're going to gather facts. You're going to see what's going on. You're going to look at the big picture, right? And this is going to help you to not take things so personally. The third thing that you have to be mindful of is understanding that your feelings are not facts. This is very hard for a lot of people to deal with. <laughs> your feelings... Oh, you're always right, isn't that? Your feelings are not facts. A feeling is wow. literally how you feel in a moment, right now, this second. So we can have a 20 minute conversation and you may feel 30 different things. All of them were accurate at the second and at the moment that they were accurate. But if you're trying to have effective communication, if you're trying to not take things personally, you can't latch on to every feeling that you feel as if that is the most important, that's the most accurate feeling of the time. So what you wanna do to not take things so personally is create space between you and the feeling so when it comes be aware of it like oh I'm mad I'm angry so just be aware of it before you express it just learn to practice having a little delay in it and what you're gonna see is you're not gonna take things personally because our emotions are natural reactions to things that happen so if, if she says something offensive to me right now which she says all the time I don't have to react to it. I don't have to take it personally, right? I don't have to. Taking it personally and responding negatively to her is always a choice. <laughs> you wanna see my impression of you when I say offensive? Yeah, let's see it. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> <laughs> For me, when people say offensive things, I try not to let it bother me. Because I, I, I just don't care enough. I'm, I'm just like, Whatever. I spent a lot of time caring. I'm still working on that. <sighs> yeah, I spent too much time caring what everybody else thinks. And now if you say something offensive, I'm just like, okay, I have to go home and eat food. Like, <laughs> what you're talking about is irrelevant, so. <laughs> you know what doesn't offend me? Eating my pizza. <laughs> exactly. Now, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a dab. Yeah. But, I mean, if you want to be that aggressive, you can. <laughs> what the kids are doing these days. All right, ready? 